I'm so, so excited today. Why? Because aside showing you how to make this great fascinator I just designed, I'm going to be releasing the winner for our bonus offer for last week. Now, guess who it is? Is it you? Is it your neighbor? It is... Michelle Fraser from the Bahamas. Congratulations. You have just won to attend the Vetcraft Academy Fascinator Class 1 for free. So let's get back to business. What we'll be needing for this design is our hot wire or millinery wire. Then our measurement tape. We'll be needing Uhu gum. B6000, our elastic band to put on this bishop cap. I have one there, but I'm going to remove it. It's an old one that I use, so we'll change it. Then I have a straight scissors and my fantastic hot wire cutter. Then I'll be needing veil, then my Ankara material, then pegs, and my needle and thread. So let's dive in. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is to sew my elastic band to my bishop cap now you have to take note of the part that is joined in the elastic band and make sure you sew around that joining so that it doesn't tear from there so we're going to be sewing in up and down let me put it that way up and down of the cap to attach the band firmly The next step to make this fascinator is to glue our bishop cap. Now, if you look at the bishop cap very well, you will see that I've lined it with millinery wire. Now, if you want to see how I did that, make sure you click the bell button so that you would see it in my next video. Now, if you noticed, I did, um, when I was gluing it, I did not south, east and west. Now, that's to ensure that you're finished um, when you're wrapping it that it is smooth you must do north, south, east and west before you start filling up the gaps and when you want to fill up the gaps you grab the material together like so and push it in and then peg now remember from my last video peg makes everything quicker and easy because you don't have to be waiting for the gum to glue before you move to the nest no, you just do and later on you take off the pegs and you're set to go Next step is to cut out the SS. Next step to making this fascinating fascinator is to take our wrapped hat wire and cover it with our net like so. Now, unlike the video suggested up, we're not going to be squeezing it to form a different shape. We're going to just wrap it up a bit so that it's straight. Watch and learn. Next step to making this fascinating fascinator is to sew the net on the hot wire to the bishop cap like I'm doing. I'm going to be doing this all round. Next step to this fascinating fascinator is to cut out the net from inside after you have sewn it. Then you line the top with bias to cover the sewings. 
I noticed the allen band in the middle didn't suit, as in the middle of the bishop cap, it pulls it down. So what I did was to take it off and now attach the allen band at the edges, the corner of the fascinator. Then you line, I lined the inside with bias. bias. Cut out four pieces of material measurement is five by ten inches. Then you're going to be sewing them on the long side, on the wrong side. Once you're done, you turn it the other way around, and this is what we have. So here I already have three done. Let's see how it's done. This has been sewn and full and folded and turned right. So I take my hard crinoline, slim one, the hard one, and I fold it into two and push it into the sewn Ankara. This is what gives it the loop form, makes it hard. So I take it in like that, then I cut it. After I'm done, I fold them together. I turn it so that the sewing is in the middle and I fold it together like so and I sew it up. If you're gaining value from this video, don't forget to click that like button. And if you're just joining me for the first time, why not subscribe? Because you're sure to see many more of such fantastic fascinators being made to educate you, to empower you, to create wealth. Now, the next step I did was to fold the end of those loops and each of them, and I'll be joining them together. So watch and learn. Now I'll be attaching all. Also see the sweets I made with the Ankara there by the side. I'm going to be using gum to stick them all. I also made a rose also with the Ankara to sew to this. Remember I have a brooch class to teach you how to make such roses that you can use to attach to your cloth, your fascinators, your hat. So if you want to learn how to make them, do write that down in the comment section below this video. Keep watching and keep learning. Now the next step is to attach my sweets that I put all candy bars or whatever you call it. I think I named it Ankara feathers when I was making it anyway, but they look more like candy bars. So I'm attaching them with Uhu gum. My apologies on the video. I didn't get that part and well, I have to send it so that you see. I'm sure you will get, you will know how to do it. Once you see the picture, you'll be able to know where to place it, the placement. And it all depends on your creativity, where exactly you want to place it. But my apologies once more. Thank you.
and that's it we're done so this is it and this is me launching it on sunday doesn't it just look fantastic thanks once more for staying with me to the very end take care